Welcome back to Megabase Machines for Oxygen Not Included. This is Greasy Hammer, and today we're going to look at this here self-powered electrolyzer. Just kidding. This is the machine we're going to look at. This is a full-flow electrolyzer spawn. This beast takes in a full pipe of water at 10 kilos per second and dumps out oxygen and hydrogen into the two separate chambers with electrolyzers running at 100% constant uptime. I'm going to show you how to start this machine up in just a minute, but first let's have a look at this more in depth. So the main principle that makes this machine work are the liquids on top of the electrolyzers. And you have to have two separate liquids, in this case I'm using naphtha and water. And you put one kilo of naphtha in each tile and one kilo of water in each tile, and this is sufficient. And you don't want to go more than that or that's going to max pressure the electrolyzers. And then you want to pre-fill the chambers. You're going to put your hydrogen on the right and your oxygen on the left. And you have 10 electrolyzers here in total, which gives you 10 kilos per second of water throughput. And we have eight hydrogen generators. This machine outputs about 1.1 kilos of hydrogen per second, and you need about 800 grams of that to feed the machine itself. The rest you can just take out of the pipe. There's one battery here, and it's set at 80 and 90 respectively, and that controls the generators when to start. The pumps here are controlled by the pressure sensors. You want to have these two pumps here set at a lower pressure, so they will start at one kilo of hydrogen, whereas the bottom pump will only start if this reaches over 20 kilo of hydrogen. You can set this a little bit lower, but it should always be higher than the two pumps above, because otherwise you end up extracting way too much hydrogen. For the oxygen side, you want to set all these pumps here on this one pressure sensor at 10 kilos. You can do less as well. But ideally, you want to set this to whatever the 10 times the value of this is. So if you set this to 1 kilo, set the oxygen to be 10 times as much. And the bottom pressure sensor set that to much higher. I set it to the maximum of 20 kilos. And that's just for this one pump, because that's like the excess. If you have all of them running constantly, they're going to be removing way too much oxygen. You have a couple liquid locks here at the bottom, so you can initially vacuum this out when you're starting to build this, and you want to have your atmos suits, especially on the oxygen side, because you don't want to have the dupes coming in here and breathing oxygen, exhaling CO2. And then we have the transformers at the bottom, because we have one main high-voltage pipe here that's feeding these four transformers, and then they're using conductive wire from there on. There's a total of about 18 pumps on the oxygen side and three on the hydrogen side and that's all you need let's have a look at the plumbing this is pretty simple we have water coming in this water is coming in relatively hot at 95 degrees and this is okay you can feed this straight out of turbines if you want this is cooling these transformers and then it's feeding all these electrolyzers if we look at the electrical side we have the mains going across the generators and that comes in through the um, battery and then that feeds the transformers and then each of the transformers is balanced fairly evenly and the main one here in the middle this one is feeding the electrolyzers and the pump this transformer here is feeding the hydrogen pumps and four of the oxygen pumps and these two transformers are feeding seven oxygen pumps each, as well as the atmos suits on the sides. Okay, let's have a look at the venting. So here we have the oxygen refilling for the atmos suits. And the rest is just dumped overboard here. You can feed this into your base however you want. Actually, you don't even have to use pumps. You can use a door to open a timer, and that will just release oxygen straight into your base if you want to do that. But in this case, we're using pumps. For the hydrogen, we have the bridge that's cutting across to feed all the generators. And then any excess can be fed out of the pipe. This pipe is also used to pre-fill these generators. You can also pre-charge the battery, but I prefer to just pre-fill the generators. And then you never have to have this connected to your power grid ever. So you just pre-fill the generators and they will be enough to start the machine initially. And I'll show you how that happens. And then the generators and everything here is submerged into gases, which are actually extracting the heat. And so you're able to cool the system this way. Everything stays here under 100 degrees at all times. So this prevents any water from boiling or anything like that. 
Okay, let's have a look at starting this machine. So first thing we'll do is we're going to turn it off. I put a little power switch for the electrolyzers here. And then we can just go ahead and sandbox out the gases. Here we go. Everything should just seize up. Okay, so now that there's no gases here, this is how you would initially start. So you start with a vacuum chamber. You have to vacuum out a whole large chamber. You can also put this in space if you want and just put drywall behind it. And the next thing you want to do is you want to pre-fill this. This is important. Otherwise, the gases from the electrolyzers aren't going to come out to the correct places and you're going to have a mess. So we pre-fill. You can just have a source of hydrogen here and a source of oxygen here. I'm just using these tanks, for example. And let's go ahead and connect this up. So we're going to fill this up. And you don't need to connect the power because what we have here is we have a pre-charged battery already because we pre-filled this pipe. You can just pre-fill this pipe from another tank or another source of hydrogen. And once it's full, this is enough. So let's go ahead and empty those tanks. I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so we've emptied out the tanks. Everything is still shut down. But on this side, we have all hydrogen. And on this side, we have nothing but oxygen. And that's the way we want it. And when this is the case, all these tiles here is going to be hydrogen. This guy is going to be oxygen and so forth. And at this point, we're not going to have any problems with the electrolyzers. Let's go ahead and start this up. Let's go ahead and speed this up. So the pressures here are too low to pump, but it's slowly rising. You can see the hydrogen is going up. The oxygen here is also going up very quickly. And one other thing I want to mention about this is this is a self-pressurizing system, meaning you do not need to have a compressor in addition to this. This is uh, self-compresses all the gases. So it will keep filling up indefinitely. If you don't remove these gases, it will just keep filling up. It will never stop as long as the power is provided and water is being supplied. This will just keep filling up with hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, we can see the pumps started to kick in. The pressure is high enough. All right, this is over 10 kilos, and this is over 1. And it oscillates a little bit between 1 and 900 grams. That's what I mean by it kind of stops for a little bit, but this will be fine. It just needs to give it a little bit of time. Okay, so everything is up and running. This is running. This is not at 100% yet. It needs a little bit of time. I'm just going to go ahead and skip forward a little bit. Okay, so after a couple of cycles, the system is fully pressurized. And we can see here. This is always above one kilo at this point. These pumps are always running. These generators are always running. And this pipe of hydrogen is always full. And like I said, this system is self-pressurizing, which means you don't need to have a separate chamber for storing any of these gases. If you just cut off the exhaust here, it will just keep filling up with oxygen and hydrogen on one each side respectively. And as long as you have water and power feeding in, it will just keep running. And this doesn't have to be self-powered. You can just feed it off the grid, but this particular design is self-powered. And that's all I have for you today. So this has been Greasy Hammer. And as always, I hope you found this video helpful. And if so, please hit a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Until next time. Bye-bye.